thought I'd do a quick video on this slightly unusual piece of hardware. This is a Sony PSP Development Kit Debug Controller. It's not the development kit itself, this is the controller that plugs into that. And unfortunately, I don't own one of those, so I can't really show you that. But maybe what I'll do is I'll Google search an image and throw it up on the screen right now so you can get an idea of at least what it looks like. It's pretty much just a, a mini PC tower looking thing with a DVD ROM on the front and also it's got a, a UMD drive as well so you can play test and debug the games or software that you've written for your PSP. But today I'm just going to be looking at this thing here. This is the controller that plugs into that and on the face of it, it just looks like a, a standard PSP but it does have one major difference and if I just turn this over you'll see on the back where there should be a UMD drive there isn't one, there's just this big fat cable sticking out of the back. And then that leads to these uh, interfaces here, these connectors. I'm not entirely sure what these are. I don't know if that's some sort of is that some sort of SCSI mini port or something there. That would just plug into your dev kit and then you've got this standard USB plug as well. Uh, and I'm wondering if that just powers the device and that is just solely for data transfer. But as you can see it goes into the back of the PSP here. If we take a closer look at this little label that's on the back, it says it's Sony model number DTP-H110 and it's clearly marked as a controller. I got this on eBay. I didn't pay too much for it. I think it was about £20. I just, I really just picked it up because I thought it was a, an unusual thing. They're not too difficult to come by. You can usually find one or two of them listed for sale online and they're not very expensive. At least I say that at the time I'm making this video in what 2018. So maybe when you're watching this in the future, these are a little harder to find. But yeah, I just thought it was interesting. And what I'd like to know and what I'm going to be doing today is finding out whether or not this is just a repackaged standard PSP because it has all the same buttons and everything. It just doesn't have a UMD drive and it doesn't have a memory card slot on it. So I'd like to know is this just a PSP or with the UMD removed or is this a, basically just a, a screen with some buttons for the purposes of uh, debug testing and uh, whatnot. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take the back of this off and have a closer look at it and let's find out what's actually inside this thing. So put the screwdrivers out and it looks like this thing is just held together with four screws in the back or at least that's the only thing holding the backing plate on so I'll get straight into taking those out, try and work out what these are first, probably just little crosshead screws. So I've loosened off the four screws on the back of the device and it's actually the front cover that, that comes off, uh, at least that's as far as I've got so far. But one thing I have noticed so far, and this is one of the um, pitfalls or potential pitfalls of buying things from eBay, is the screen on this is actually cracked. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. Maybe just see in this area here, you'll be able to see the little ripples where the cracks are. If I can maybe just get the reflection just right, yeah. You can probably just about see that. It's very difficult to see with the naked eye. But when I took that, um, that front cover off, I immediately noticed that. And this thing's been sitting in my cupboard for so long that it's not like I'm going to go to the seller and say, oh, you sold me a broken... A broken piece of hardware and to be honest I'm not too bothered because I'm never really going to use this anyway but that is something to be mindful if you're buying items off eBay and you don't have the correct equipment to test out whether or not they're working but anyway I'll continue taking this apart and we can have a closer look at it that's it fully disassembled and I've disconnected the cable from the back and it was just connected up using these little these four little connectors here and they attached at these points on this board. It's completely different from a, a regular PSP. From the looks of it, this is just some sort of passive device that really just displays the image on the screen and takes the input from the buttons and doesn't really do any processing. Um, well, at least that's what I'm guessing from the looks of it. I'm not an, an expert on this in any way, but I'll give a a close-up of the, the main board here and anyone that knows about these things can get a good look at it. There we go. 
it's a TPC-001 and yeah, looks to just be a, a passive uh, piece of hardware and I'll just quickly flip these out of the way, these are the controllers for the buttons but the screen I think is probably just a, a standard PSP screen, everything else is um, going to be custom or not custom but specific just to the, the dev unit, the development kit there we go the interesting thing I did notice with this on the backing plate where the UMD drive would usually go they've got a big chunk of metal now oh, they've got two um, pieces of flat metal in there just to give it a, a bit of weight makes it feel more substantial more like the, the real PSP and these little cables here are just for the, the speakers on the bottom, they just plug in here and here but yeah, otherwise it is as I was kind of suspecting that it's just a, a kind of passive device for testing the games, it doesn't do any actual processing itself the other thing I noticed with this connector here this one goes to the, the USB type connector this actually has five wires running through it as you can see there and that plugs into that little connector there which then looks like it connects directly onto the the port on the top of the, the PSP so that's probably just for testing and debugging any of the um, the add-ons you could get like the the camera and the, the GPS uh, peripherals you can get for the PSP uh, and that's probably just for testing those out so yeah, what I'll do is I'll put this back together again but that answers my question of whether or not this is just a, a regular PSP with a, a modified board on the back. It's not. It's a completely different beast altogether. And uh, yeah, quite interesting to, to see. If you'd ever wondered what was inside one of these things, now you know. And if you'd never seen one before, I suppose you now at least know they exist and what they are. Um, I'm a bit disappointed this one's got a cracked screen. You really can't tell when it's all back together again um, but I suppose I'm never ever really going to use this anyway it doesn't really matter too much it's just going to get added into the collection of strange hardware if I ever want to play my PSP I've got one of these PSP goes this has been modified so it'll play pretty much anything um, and it's a nice little form factor anyway but yeah this is just a, a bit of a, a curious curiosity strange bit of hardware and I thought I'd do a quick video on it. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.